good morning. I'm here to show you three important weight loss tools. They are the scale, paper, and pen. You simply get on the scale and then you record your weight and in this case percent fat. You also put that on your little chart here. This is a control chart, a very valuable tool in helping you to lose weight. For other tools, go to idealweightcharts.com. Do not just record your weight every now and then, and particularly at the end of the month. Check to see how you are doing. Ask yourself, what do I need to do to reach my goal? Let us look at how I did this month. Looks pretty boring, right? But that is a good thing. I did not gain much weight. Here is the month of January when I lost more weight. I was on a diet then. And here is a yearly weight loss chart that shows how I am doing on a monthly basis. Okay, now the fun begins. Let us take the data that we just generated and put it into a spreadsheet. This will really get us thinking of what we're doing, how we're doing, and what we need to be doing. Spreadsheets such as Excel have several advantages, such as instant charts, easy data storage, and you can change and make them personal. So here we have a chart. Yeah, see my little cursor here? And it's blank right now. This would be what we started with. So if we put data in here, it would look something like Oops. like this, the month of May. And this is the same chart. We just put our data in across here. We put our percent fat across here. What this line is right here is, that's an average. It's a running average. And that takes the uh, ups and downs of our data and makes it a little bit more accurate. And the same here. This is a running average. Okay, not too exciting yet. This is where we started in April. This would next month in June we would take the end numbers and put them at the start. Okay, let's see how we did in May. Down at the bottom here, you've got chart one and chart two. Click on chart one, and you can see uh, it looked like well, nothing was going on, but when you look at this red line. I'm gaining a little weight. It's getting close to when I need to start going on a diet here. Okay, chart two, percent fat. Okay, started at 21. It too is going up. Not too good. Now, percent fat, scales in general are not very accurate when it comes to percent fat. And you can see all the ups and downs. Much less accurate than, than the weight is. And that's where running average becomes in very handy. Because over a seven day running average, you get pretty good results. So you can take a scale and, and put it here and get good results. Uh, other methods of measuring percent fats, your calories are also real good and you might want to do those on a weekly, monthly, or other basis and compare. Uh, Technology is just not where it should be. Alright, but let's look at some other months. Uh, I think this is January here. Yep, January. Okay, start here. You really don't see the numbers. That's where Excel now, if you were plotting them on the graph, you would be plotting them right here, and you'd see the ups and downs. You could do this on paper. Paper's fine. These control charts worked great before we had computers, uh, but computers just are, are fun. You can see it clearly. You can do the you can do these running averages with the with the Excel spreadsheet without a lot of work. Uh, whereas on the others, you just draw a line. Um, so here we are. This is the weight. And this is the red line is the running average, but you can see um, in this example, you can see that I lost some weight. But these limits, I have to put them in here for everybody because some people only weigh 120 pounds. But we can do this. This is where you can make it personal. You can format the axis, and instead of 120, I can put this like 150. Okay, to 180. Okay. Now you can see it looks like I lost a lot more weight uh, because I started here at 173.4 and got down somewhere to about 169. That was some pretty good weight. As you notice, I really didn't go on a diet until right in here at the middle of the month. You know, 
first of the month I'm still partying uh, some other things I, I think I had a fun weekend here that I wanted to plan for and didn't get serious about a diet until here so I was, I was doing pretty good and uh, percent fat pretty much the same thing let's take February okay chart one lost a little bit more weight once again I went from 170 here uh, percent fat I did pretty good there okay February March all right and April here uh, I started to gain weight April that's because I went off my diet somewhere around the 4th of April right in here Easter time uh, I do a combination beginning of the year uh, diet combined with Lent and right at Easter I knew I was going to go off of it. And I did start to go up. But you'll find that in any diet you tend to lose a lot of weight, maybe five pounds right at the first few days. Then when you go off a diet you tend to gain the weight back pretty quick. But still this is 163 and I started at 173 so I, I still lost you know eight pounds or something. I did pretty good. Um, you know take it with a grain of salt you constantly have to be losing okay what's the next step time to go to idealweightcharts.com weight loss chart HTML and here you'll find the chart that you can download okay we got some other charts here in PDF form very similar to this chart download those get started weighing yourself after all to measure your weight is to manage your weight. If you want a free reminder service which comes out once a month, all it does is it sends you a basic form to remind you to weigh yourself. And it's in the form of a calendar, Excel spreadsheet, so you can change it, put your own goals in there, make it your own. After all, only you can do this. What do you got to lose? Go to the website, check it out free weight loss. See you later. Good luck.